Hello everybody, it's Sny Matrix back again with another trail. It's Saturday night, Sunday morning, it's nearly 12 a.m. I'm on the M1. You can see from the sign up there, the north. And it's the true north I'm going today. Back to Scotland, first time in two years. I'm returning to do the first official coast to coast, the Southern Upland Way in Scotland. <laughs> so here I am at the start. It's a beautiful day today, and I take the first step. coast to coast, I've got to touch the sea, that's the Irish Sea over there, don't worry I'm not going <laughs> to walk in it like I did at the end of the coast to coast, the English coast to coast, the Wainwright to coast to coast, I'm just going to go to the edge, beautiful. There we go. I know one or two of my subscribers have said they like to see my face once or twice in a video. So here it is. <laughs> you know I show you the views. I'm not one to showboat the camera <laughs> non-stop. But with views like this, you don't want to see my face. first sight of the lighthouse that's where we turn inwards I've met two couples that are starting today they arrived yesterday they were wild camping on the coastline over there overnight so I'm not alone <laughs> I'm starting off with a few other people see how far we get walking I have to say the trail is very well way marked Britain's official coast to coast trail the only one I think the Wainwright one is not an official trail alas some more land now near the uplands sprawling out in front of me the hill the upland way heads that way where those wind turbines are. That's Stranraer down there, home to one of the oldest football clubs in Scotland, older than the Glasgow, the big Glasgow clubs. There's the lighthouse up on the hill up there, or oh, the cliff. <laughs> it's been endless road walking so far after you pass that lighthouse. I'm about a mile or two outside Castle Kennedy. I don't know where I'm going to stay tonight, probably past there onto some open moors or something. I don't think there's a campsite there. Like, you know, if you watch my videos, I don't plan nothing. There's no plan. It's just walk and see what happens. 
but it's gone past 24 hours now with no sleep that's what I have to do if I live in London to get to Scotland or to the north of England this is Castle Kennedy Gardens I don't think I'm allowed to camp in there looks really nice but I think I have to walk on beautiful it's about four o'clock now done about 14 miles now okay what a day I woke up 9 a.m. Saturday morning drove up overnight to Fort Patrick started the trail by at 8 o'clock the first 19 20 miles of the Southern Upland Way are really inhospitable <laughs> most of it's road walking and once you get out onto the into the moors it's cordoned off but I managed to find something about seven o'clock now this is the southern upland way pass barbed wire over there and just inhospitable country over there <laughs> luckily I found a little clearing just next to the path a bit a bit trusty I think the word is but it will do not worried now about if the tent is not pitched correctly I've got my waterproof sleeping bag now it will deal with any condensation if, it, if the bag touches the size so I'm sorted I'm I'm gonna make something to eat and go to sleep now because I am really 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 tired I don't mind admitting that the weather today is boiling managed to find you know, another thing there's no there's no water <laughs> luckily I, I started off with three liters I drank that there was a petrol station uh, at Kennedy Port whatever it's called I can't remember now <laughs> but Kennedy something it's a petrol station there I managed to get another three liters a couple of boosts a coke and loaded up on the water I've got plenty of water now to make my food and make my well deserved hot chocolate I think <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a beautiful night, beautiful weather tomorrow as well. But uh, what a day, or what a one and a half days. <laughs> Good night. Good morning. Start of another glorious day on the Southern Upland Way. Had a wonderful sleep. <laughs> well, about 8 pm. Woke up about twice during the night. There was a dog barking, sounded like miles away, but <laughs> I could hear it, but that never woke me up. Just beautiful sleep, feeling a lot better now. The sun is shining, beautiful. Good morning! Okay, I see you found the best bit to, to camp. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't find anywhere that close. Did you see me over there? Or? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I was, I was um, cream crackered. I found that bit. That's it. I'm stopping. <laughs> yeah. It was a tough day yesterday with the sun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think they're about, about another 10 miles as a boffy, beehive boffy, so yeah. that looks like a good place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you hear that? On a scorching day like today, that is the greatest sound in nature. Fantastically way marked. Don't even need a map. <laughs> Just using my GPS to see where I am, see the area. It's brilliantly way marked. We're heading into the trees now for a few miles, I think. That's going to be a welcome relief, I tell you that.
Ja. Down. What's this down here? Please lift. Okay, I get it now. This is a crisis, a crisis, or however you pronounce that. These are dotted all along the trail and I think they contain some kind of tokens that you've got to pick up if you find them there's nothing living down there <laughs> Ow! no 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 that's not a scene from Flash Gordon in the forest scene <laughs> what do we have here okay looks like it's a coin great I've got to carry this <laughs> there it is I think there's about 13 or 14 of these. I don't know if this is the first one, it's the first one I've seen, but it looks like I'll be carrying this. I can get a better view of that as a memento. What a respite. Look at this. We've got another way marker here. That's what I mean, how good this way marking is. Look at this. Right in the middle of the path. You'd think you'd go straight on here. You don't need a map. <laughs> it's been in, in the rucksack. <laughs> don't need a GPS <laughs> down there. This is the water of Luce. Thankfully, there's a bridge. Very idyllic. Is he a bit of a drama queen, this farmer? Or are they particularly dangerous cows here? Cows can be dangerous. Proceed at your own risk. Yeah, the cows were as good as gold. Obviously had had the word from their friends on the Wainwrights coast to coast. It's no Matrix. The Cow Whisperer, <laughs> if you've seen that video, <laughs> was in town or in field, so they, they knew the score. <laughs> Onwards up there, <laughs> through the gate. My new Salomon are getting a christening. We have hit the bog. So here it is. From now on, you'll be known as Sally's. <laughs> I'm at the caves of Kilfern. Sign says it's 200 meters that way. I'll have a look on the guidebook, see if it's worth a 200 meter detour or 400 meter detour. I've just passed a herd of cows. They were a little bit interested in me. I think they're hungry, they want something more than the grass. <laughs> As I got closer to that yellow feeding station, they seemed to want to know, see if I was the farmer. Once they saw I wasn't the farmer, they retreated back to their, their field. So they're waiting on the farmer. <laughs> Bull being transported. <laughs> You don't mind the filming, does it? <laughs> okay, I'm at Cain Nagaf, close to the hut circles. And my first little mistake, <laughs> there's a, a way marker there. 
There is one here is where I should have gone. There's one on the other side of the fence. But the one here must have fallen down. Well, I didn't see. I was in a daze. I never saw this fence here. And I kept on walking up there. So if you're down this way, remember, <laughs> there's a gate here. <laughs> I, was on, I was on about five minutes up that path, but it was that pathless bog there. <laughs> Luckily, there's no... Goes up there, and as you can see right in the distance, it looks like another, another way back there. I think right in the distance, over those trees, and far away, is the lighthouse. That kind of shape in the background looks very familiar, but if it is, it's nearly 35 miles away. <laughs> in the trees again walking towards Rochloch Hill and the Boffy is in here somewhere so we are in the woods well away from the trail and for the first time since the Cape Raft Trail a few years ago I've had to do it like a bear <laughs> these two this marks the spot these cones here but like it never happened the southern upland way it's remote you have to <laughs> not like the Pennine way and the coast to coast never dug a cat hole once on those two trails as the great youtuber nukes top five says can you see it <laughs> there's the boffy Looks like a nice green field there and a table as well because of course I'll be camping outside. <laughs> the Beehive Boffy at Lagan. And I think you can see why. I'd rather sleep outside. <laughs> but it's here. In severe weather. If you want it. That'll do nicely. I can relax here now. Sun's shining. It's about 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock. I don't care. Plenty of time to rest. Eat. my Crux torpedo sleeping bag performing brilliantly last night beautiful sleep with that used it like a quilt for most of the night <laughs> just done up front bit of the zip so my legs were in there just had it over me it was a really nice night really well plus there was con because there was no um, no wind there was quite a lot of condensation in the tent any bits that did come down onto the sleeping bag just beaded off brilliant really happy with that <laughs>